Hello and welcome to this part of Level Helper tutorial series. In this part we're going to talk about how to create a looping walk animation on an existing skeletal structure. In the previous part we have created the character in a standing position. For walking we will need to change the sprites for the right leg, unlock the connections and change the sprites of the right lower leg and foot by going to the image property and clicking on the image. A menu will appear with all the sprites in the atlas file. Once you have changed the sprites, the bone will have to be readjusted and the minimum and maximum angle modified. Go to the animation inspector and create a new animation called walk. Set it as starting animation by choosing play on load, make it looping by setting the repetitions to zero and then anchor it in the animations editor and enable recording to add keyframes. Now move the bones in the initial walk position. This initial position is also known as the contact and it's the same as the very last frame. Once you are ready, add the initial keyframe. Move the slider 5 frames and set the bones to the next walk position, also known as recoil. This is also the position where the character is at the lowest height, so select the root bone and move it slightly down. Add a keyframe when you are ready. Move the slider another 5 frames and set the character in a passing position. At this stage, the character is at the same height as the initial frame. Add a keyframe when you're ready. This next position is called the high point and at this stage the character reaches the highest position. Add a keyframe when ready. Next position is the same as the initial position, only that the arms and legs are inverted. This is also called contact. We now create the recoil position again, but with the arms and legs inverted. At this position, we are again at the lowest height. Now create an inverted passing position in which the character is somewhere between the lowest and highest point. Since we are out of frames, add an additional 10 frames to the animation. Now let's create the inverted high point position. At this stage the character will again be at the highest point. Since the last keyframe is the same as the first one, move the slider to the beginning of the animation and add a key at the last frame. Go to simulate mode to see your final walk animation. Change the other character right foot sprite and bone properties as we did for our first character. Now select the walk animation and press Command C to copy it. Select the root bone of the other character and click on the animation's table view to make it active and press Command V to pass the walk animation. Go to preview mode to see both characters walk. If you need, you can control the opacity and texture frame on each sprite. Click on the plus button to add the sprite on which you want to change the texture frame while the animation is running. Add an initial key and then another key with the new texture frame. In the case of texture frames, the change is done when the animation reaches that key. In all the other cases, the change is done gradually through interpolation. 
I hope you have enjoyed this part of the tutorial series. Have fun!